Now, now, if yeah. you could give some advice to to your younger self, if you give some advice to your younger self, what type of advice would you give yourself? Again, not changing stuff, but some advice. I'd say say yes more when I was younger. Um, not to bad things, but to opportunities uh, that arise, and and just network way more. I I, right. I didn't waste my opportunity at university, but I definitely drank way too much and didn't focus on getting to know peers and people around me and and, and explore those options. Um, one of the guys is a good friend of mine, um, Junior, who works under the name Jay Rocks. He's 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 now mixing and producing um, for huge artists. Uh, you know, like number one selling artists, and had his name on on number one records and all sorts of stuff. And I remember him at uni talking to everyone and yeah. getting to know everyone. And he'd be the guy, yeah. you know, the the uni recording studios would close at the end of the day and he'd be the guy sneaking back in there to carry on working with all these people. Yeah, he's, he's that kind of guy and 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 he, he's reaping the rewards of it now. So I think I'm happy with, I don't have any regrets and I'm very I'm happy just, with, uh, with, with the path that I've taken. But I think if I had my time again, I would, yeah, speak to a lot more people and create a lot more and stay focused I, I think i've come to it a little bit later on i kind of left uni and struggled a bit and then and, and then found my path but um hey man yeah. i'm finding my path again and i'm 42 yeah so. no, I, exactly I, I don't think there's any um there's not necessarily a time limit on stuff as well as long as no. you're as long as you're having fun yeah. and enjoying yourself a lot of other things don't really matter like i the, I think, yeah, that's, uh, that's no spot on, man. I a hundred percent agree. My friend, Andrew, uh, that was on the podcast, uh, about a couple weeks ago and he's a big, he's, he's a DOP in Hollywood. And mm-hmm. I was like, what, what are your, some future ambitions? And he's like, people are asking me when I'm going to retire. And he's like, I'm never going to, you know, and he's like, I don't want to, because I love this. I love what I'm doing. And he's like, as long as you love what you're doing, like, just keep going, man. Enjoy it. That's it. Yeah. hundred percent. Yeah. Now, now, if you had a Aladdin's lamp, a genie's lamp, rub it. What would you wish for? Um, that's a very good question. A very tough question as well. I think, especially given what's happened in the, I'm going to be a little bit philosophical, but I think given what's happened in the last year or so, um. I'm very fortunate to be happy, healthy, um, have right. an amazing partner and, and, and my life hasn't gone off track. It's if anything has fell into place during the last couple of years. So I think I'd be happy just to continue on, on, on the path that I'm on. I mean, obviously I'd love to be a successful mu- musician and mix engineer and, uh, producer and everything that comes with that as well. But I think, um, just continue building this little life that I've got here and uh, continue on that path and i'll be all good i love that man 